watching Meet the Farm and TV. Food from the farm to the plate. I'm Michael Clark, your host for Meet the Farmer TV. Every once in a while, we take you on the road to find some farms and meet some farmers in far off areas. Uh, hi, hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. <laughs> yeah, we're in um, London, um, and uh, I'm Johnny, this is Dulcie, and we're here um, in Whole Foods um, store in Kensington, um, and we're doing cheese tastings on their behalf. Um, we're cheese makers and dairy farmers in Suffolk in England and um, we're here today tasting out our cheese um, Baron Bygod. So I think the most important thing about what we're doing and what we're trying to do in everything that we do with our business is that the, uh, the commodity milk market in the UK is very difficult for farmers and has been for some time now uh, and it's quite hard at the current market price for um, a dairy farmer to turn a profit and there are dairy farmers going out of business every single day in the UK at the moment. Uh, and we've been really trying to find ways um, to make dairy farming exciting, profitable, something that somebody would want to go into rather than out of at the moment, um, and trying to help other dairy farmers to do the same. So diversifying, adding value to your product, you know, that we're turning a proportion of our milk into uh, an added value product of unpasteurized cheese uh, and selling it direct to the customers, that makes, uh, that makes a profit to it for us. Um, and it's really exciting to see the feedback as well, you know, we're, um, we're not just sending our milk off on a, on a, on a nameless tanker and, and, uh, and, and starting the whole process over again. We're making a product that people are appreciating, enjoying, giving us feedback for, and it suddenly makes it all really worthwhile. What we do with our like, cheese and our other products is that we're really passionate. Um, we're really passionate about our products and, and trying to make a really high quality product. Um, and it's also looking after the, the, the cows, the animal welfare is really important to us as well. So. Then we have another branch to our business um, and that's uh, raw milk vending machines which is something that's quite uh, popular in Europe but it's quite new to the UK. Uh, and we sell our own uh, unpasteurised milk from our farm gate via a vending machine that customers can come self-service, they can fill up reusable glass bottles um, and we can sell our milk direct to the general public. Um, at a price that suits us and suits them and is competitive uh, and we also set up help other dairy farmers around the UK to set up doing the same thing we can we, we sell them vending machines and we support them in the setup um, and it's just about finding ways for dairy farmers to, to you know, really rejuvenate their businesses and feel like they can take control again do something exciting and rewarding at the same time the vending machines right at your gate of the farm mm -hmm. and you yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, allow, so it allows the dairy farmer to um, sell his own products it doesn't have to be a dairy farmer. We could be talking any type of farming that you can sell your products directly and you don't have to man the shops, so to speak. So you can have a small shop and still make 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 it pay, make money from it. So are the machines uh, adaptable so that if you have larger, say, produce and you wanted to package that into the machine, you can? Yeah, I mean, to a, to a point. I mean, yeah, you can't like put wheelbarrows in it. But, You're going to um, get a huge <laughs> pumpkin in there, right? Yeah, <laughs> you probably have to have small pumpkins. But, um, but I'm, I mean, there is machines out there. If you, I'm sure you can if you look, look in the right place. So I think it's... Uh, What's important to me, um, what I'm really passionate about, is um, trying to bring the value of the product back to the farmer and back to the, the person which has really done all of the, all of the hard work at the start. Um, that's important to me and um, that's what we're trying to do with our own business, but equally I'm really in, interested in helping other people um, and being part of something bigger uh, going forward with the future. Well, an example is just our own our own industry, which is dairy. Um, is that I don't think farmers, dairy farmers, are held into contracts with uh, big processing companies, uh, told what they're going to get paid. And um, I think I think that really wants to be changed. Um, I think it needs to go in a way where people buy milk from you, but they bid to. So you have the choice of who you sell your milk to. Um, I'd like to see a world where we're more in that position where we're not forced to be, pa to be paid um, what the, the big process and factories decide. You can reach us at www.fenfarmdairy.co.uk F-E-N-F-A-R-M-D-A-I-R-Y.co.uk
Meet the Farmer TV is independently produced and funded by Melly Productions, Leslie P. Jenkins, Photography and Graphic Design, and Planet Earth Diversified. Independent reporting to get you the best information about local food and food from the farm to your plate.